Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for April 2014. We're looking at an animated view of two important alignments and two time frames that are occurring during the month of April which may coincide with earthquakes around 7 magnitude during these time frames. We're now looking at the April ephemeris. Now there are two timelines that have been highlighted that I feel could coincide with very powerful earthquakes. Now April 15 to 16 and also April 21 to 23. Looking at the first date, April 15 and 16, we have the alignment of Earth, Mercury and Mars. Now this is short lasting, but I do feel coincides with a potential for a fairly significant earthquake. And we round off with April 21 to 23, and this could also coincide with not only a strong and powerful earthquake over 7 magnitude, but also volcanic activation activities or a strong volcanic eruption. And that's featured with the alignment of Mars, Earth and Uranus. It is worth noting that the month of April has the annual solar eclipse taking place on the 29th at 6.14 UTC. And two weeks prior we have the lunar eclipse taking place at 7.45 UTC on April 15th. We're now looking at the important lunar influences for the month when we start off looking at the lunar declinations which occur on the 5th and 19th. Now these won't be playing a significant role as they fall outside of the highlighted windows featured in this video. The main influence will be the lunar perigee which occurs on April 23rd or in the early morning hours and this will coincide and contribute to a very strong potential for a strong earthquake during this period. We now look at the important lunar alignments for the month and they are strong. Beginning on April 14 we have Mercury and Uranus opposing the moon and later on the day Mars conjoining the moon all within 9 hours of each other. Now these are significant influences and this should culminate energies heading into April 15 and 16 where we may see a fairly strong earthquake over 7 magnitude. Later on the month April 21st we have the influence of Jupiter opposing the moon almost simultaneously Pluto conjoins the moon. Now these interactions mean that the moon is playing a fairly strong role for the month and we could see very powerful earthquakes based on these interactions. We now look at the exact Sun position at the time of two important Mercury alignments which are occurring on April 14 and 16. The Sun's overhead or longitudinal position at the time of Mercury conjoining Uranus on the 14th is over the Pacific Ocean and through up into Alaska. And we see on the 16th Mercury opposing Mars we have a profile of the Mediterranean and also Africa being the overhead and longitudinal position of the Sun. We are now looking at April 23rd at approximately 7.08 AM UTC and the important Mars-Earth-Uranus alignment takes place. We see the exact Sun and Moon position at the time of this alignment. Now the Moon position is featuring again over Africa and also the Mediterranean. The exact Sun position is over the Indian Ocean, India, China and also Russia. And this may give us a good guide as to where this very powerful earthquake may occur in one of these locations possibly during this watch. And finally the graphic ephemeris data highlights celestial interactions being significant from April 15 to 16 and April 21 to 22. And for more information about this line of research please visit solarwatcher.net and have a look at the newsletter section. And now for the forecast for April 15 and 16. Now I'm expecting an earthquake potential to 7 magnitude. This is due to the alignment of Mars, Earth and Mercury with the added influence of Uranus. Now the last time Uranus was involved in this particular alignment was back in 2004 on August 18th where a 5.8 magnitude earthquake struck in Oaxaco, Mexico. Now on that particular day the lunar influence was extremely weak and we didn't have any significant planetary alignments assisting. That's not the case this time round. We have two strong alignments on April 12 leading into this alignment date of April 15 and I do feel a strong earthquake potential is possible to 7 magnitude on this particular day. I'll now plot a map some regions on the Earth that I feel could receive this event based on lunar influence and celestial harmonics. And my main area for concern for April 15 and 16 is see the Aleutian Islands Alaskan region, specifically the Andrianoff Islands, Red Islands or the Fox Islands region. And the second area for concern is for the Norwegian Sea and surrounding regions of Jan Main Islands and also Iceland. Now this watch for April 15 and 16 is at high latitudes and predominantly an ocean based event. Now moving ahead to the 21st to 23rd of April and I feel an even larger earthquake could be possible based on the alignment of Mars Earth and Uranus. Now the previous two Mars Earth Uranus alignments did have an associated strong earthquake. 
back on July 18, 2012, two days after we had a magnitude 6 earthquake in the Kuril Islands region. And July 29, 2010, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake struck the Mora Gulf, Mindanao, Philippines region and this was a very powerful earthquake and widely felt. Now I do feel this time around in 2014 there may be a potential for an even larger earthquake based on planetary geometry and significant celestial harmonics. Now I do feel there's a potential for a 7.2 to 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake in and around the Indonesian region. I now plot a map of region specifically targeting this area. As mentioned I feel Indonesia will be most at risk for a very strong earthquake during the month of April, specifically targeting the Great Sumatran Fault. The areas of southern Sumatra, south of Bali and south of Java would be the main areas for concern during April 21st to April 23rd. And finally wrapping up the video, there's a strong possibility of volcanic activity during this month, mainly due to the Sun and Moon positions and interactions between Uranus and Mars. Now I do feel that Indonesia and also Italy could be at risk for strong volcanic activity, specifically the volcanoes Campi Flegleri, Stromboli and Etna. And there are quite a few volcanoes that could be activated in the Indonesian region around the locations that have been isolated during this watch. It is also worth noting that the month of April has seven heliocentric alignments. Now they should see a significant uptick in seismic and volcanic activities based on these interactions and celestial influences. And that's my planetary alignment and earthquake watch for the month of April 2014. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers, including a new website newsletter. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.